Hello everybody, my name is John Rattigan. I'm the curator of Clare Museum in Ennis and I'm here today to talk to you about a couple of items in our collection that are associated with Christmas. The first of these is a, is a ticket from a Christmas draw that was held by the St Vincent de Paul in order to raise money for the poor. Uh, the ticket was drawn on the 20th of December in 1934 and what's interesting about it, I think, are the prizes. Uh, the top prize was £10 and a hamper containing two turkeys, two geese, a ham, a Christmas cake, a plum pudding and a bottle of whiskey. The second prize was £5 and a hamper containing a turkey, a goose, a ham, a uh, Christmas cake, plum pudding and a bottle of port. And the third prize was uh, £3 and a hamper containing a turkey, a goose, a ham, a bottle of port, Christmas cake and a box of cigarettes. You wouldn't get that today. Um, there are 30 prizes altogether, but what, what's interesting about it is that the fourth prize is a turkey and a goose. And the 30th prize is also a turkey and a goose. And in between you have various combination of a goose and a ham or a turkey and a Christmas cake and so on and so forth. So boxes of these are, sorry, books of these tickets would have been sold all over the country. So this would have been a countrywide draw. Um, and it would have been used obviously to raise money for the poor, just like uh, the St. Vincent, Vincent de Paul Society does today. So that's one item. The second item is a rather attractive piece of embroidery. And this piece of embroidery features holly and berries, the symbols of Christmas, in red and blue. And these were from the Clare Embroidery School. There was an embroidery school in Clare in the late 19th century and went on into the early 20th century, where young uh, girls were taught a skill in order to help them earn some independent income. Uh, they were taught to embroider, to order, and somebody had obviously ordered some garment, or it could have been a tablecloth, um, or a pillowcase. But this was a practice piece that the embroiderers would have used to uh, practice their Christmassy motifs. And uh, that's the only other item we have associated with Christmas in the collection. So if you're out there somewhere and you have items associated with Christmas in County Clare, and you'd like to donate them to the museum, old Christmas cards, could be anything really. Um, we'd be delighted to receive it if you wanted to uh, donate it to our collection for posterity. So uh, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and hopefully when this COVID thing is over, we'll see you all in the new year. Thanks very much.